Abarth 124 Spider 2017 Review From 28,825 pounds 8 point An expensive proposition, yes, but the Abarth 124 Spider thrills and excites enough on UK roads to send its price to the back of your mind. What is it? Carlo Abarth might just be smiling up there somewhere. Martian almost certainly will be down here. After a long list of fairly forgettable cars wearing the sporting Abarth badge in recent years, along comes one that has the recipe for potential success, the Abarth 124 Spider. For starters, the Fiat 124 Spider's 1.4-liter turbocharged four-cylinder has been boosted by 30 bhp and 7 pounds foot to a total of 168 and 184, and making sure everybody knows it is a standard record Monza sports exhaust. That's the punch sorted, then, but what about the poise? Well, a rear drive layout, 1060 kg curb weight distributed evenly, stiffened anti-roll bars and uniquely tuned Abarth Bilstein dampers should see to that. Rounding it all off nicely is a standard limited slip differential, bestowed upon the more powerful MX-5S, the car with which the 124 shares its platform, but reserved here for the full fat Abarth. There is one small problem, though, the price. Even the most expensive 2.015 bhp Sport NAV MX-5 costs just £23,695, while the Abarth starts at a rather more cumbersome £29,565. What's it like? But never mind that for the moment, what about the performance and the noise? The latter is certainly befitting of the badge, the 124's little 1.4 gurgling, howling, and popping at lower speeds if never building to quite the crescendo you'd like at full chat. The former is decent rather than outstanding, with normal mode accentuating the 124's turbo lag, but sharper throttled sport making it feel pleasingly urgent. Even so, it never quite feels as fast as maybe Abarth's pedigree suggests it should when pushed hard, and an optical 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 6.8 SEC and 143 miles per hour top speed tells you just that. In reality, it's brisk, but never outright rapid. Nevertheless, its short throw, 6 speed manual gearbox has one of the sweetest actions going, and with its turbocharging comes good mid range flexibility and more frequent cog swapping enjoyment. And the fact that this Abarth is hardly any quicker than a 2.0 MX-5 becomes all the more bearable considering its chassis. The Abarth rides very well most of the time and doesn't allow the same levels of lateral body movement as an MX-5, which coupled with its linear, precise steering makes for a thoroughly enjoyable driver's car. Sport switched on, traction control switched off, it allows for the sort of predictable low-speed throttle on adjustability that's nigh on perfect on UK roads. In fact, the only real downside is refinement. There's quite a bit of buzz about the place under load and, like the MX-5 in fairness, while the manual cloth roof is splendidly easy to open and close, it doesn't do a very good job of keeping road and wind roar at bay when in place. You'll be turning the radio up and raising your voice on the motorway here. Abarth has done a fine job with the 124's chassis, but it's fair to say Mazda's heavy influence on its cabin is a good thing. As such, its surfaces and buttons look and feel the part and the standard 7.0-inch color touchscreen which can also be controlled via a centrally mounted rotary dial is one of the best anywhere. Abarth seats provide good lateral support, too, and it's, annoyingly only rake adjusting, steering wheel, lashings of Alcantara and uniquely numbered plaque manage to maintain the air of quality and exclusivity. Like any other 124, the Abarth seats two adults with ease, and provides just enough storage to keep phones and keys from ricocheting about the cabin, if not much else. Behind sits a 140-liter boot no smaller than the standard cars, which will realistically take a couple of weekend bags, but that's about your lot. 
Should I buy one? Nearly 30,000 pounds for this manual model is considerable money for a middlingly quick roadster, but the manual is the way to go based on our experience, and subsequent dislike, of the pricier auto. On a more subjective note, the matte black bonnet and boot lid you see before you is a free option heritage pack, and to these eyes at least, the 124 is better left without it. Performance isn't everything, though. More importantly, the Abarth 124 is capable of making you smile, not only for its addictive soundtrack, but also because it's a proper hoot to drive on UK roads. The differences in handling between it and an MX-5 are negligible, both are extremely good, but other roadsters such as the Mercedes SLC pale in comparison. That the Abarth is also well equipped, and slightly cleaner and more frugal than a 2.0 MX-5 should only provide more ammunition in your reasoning to buy one. Abarth 124 Spider Location Surrey, UK on sale. Now. Price. £29,565. Engine. Four sills, 1,368 cubic centimeters, turbocharged, petrol. Power. 168 bhp at 5500 rpm. Torque. 184 pounds foot at 2500 rpm 0 to 62 miles per hour 6.8 sec top speed 143 miles per hour gearbox 6 spd manual dry weight 1060 kilograms economy 44.1 mpg Combined. CO2 slash big tax. 148G slash KM slash 26%. Rivals. Mazda MX-5, Mercedes SLC.